So if you type in hidden clearance in the YouTube search bar, you're going to find all these really awesome videos about people finding these items that are marked down at extremely low prices. So what hidden clearance is, is basically Walmart or other stores, but we're mainly going to focus on Walmart, will mark items down in the system, but those items are still on the shelf as regularly tagged prices. They have no clearance sticker. So how do you find these hidden clearance? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to show you the research behind it, and then I'm also going to show you the way to do it in store. Let's go. All right, y'all. The first thing you're going to go to in your search bar is brickseek.com. B-R-I-C-K-S-E-E-K.com. Then you are going to scroll down a little bit. And where it says enter your zip code, you're going to put in your zip code. Mine's already there. Whatever your zip code is, put it in. Click show deals. Then what it's going to tell you is electronic deals near you. Now, if you see this little logo right here, we're not going to pump with Target. We're just going to stick to Walmart. So the Walmart deals will have the Walmart logo on them. Prime example. Let's go look at this deal here. This is Cinnamon Crunch Crave. It is saying today in Rochester, New York, which is the area I live in, you are going to view deal. And then we're going to click check inventory and we're going to scroll down and it's going to tell you that Walmart Supercenter this is the address of that Walmart they have this in stock at this price so you will get that hidden clearance deal on this cereal at this particular Walmart it's in stock and at 50 cents now, as you can see, if you look a little further down, it is also in stock at this Walmart, but as you can see, it is not the same deal as this Walmart here. So that really makes a big difference. If this came up in your local deals, you would click check inventory and you would scroll down and you will see that Walmart Supercenter, this particular Walmart, has it in stock at $1.54. And that's an awesome price for coffee because that MSRP value is $6.22. And I think that I think they sell a little bit lower than that. I think they sell at like $5.88, but this is this $154 is still a good price. And so what you would do is just write this down. Just write great value fall blend coffee, write it down on your list, and then you know when you go to Walmart to check and see if it is available. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is connect to Walmart's Wi-Fi because everybody knows sometimes your service can be sketchy in Walmart and you wanna make sure your app is working perfectly fine. So the next thing is you're gonna either wanna open the Walmart app if you already have it or download the Walmart app and there is a barcode icon that you hit in the search bar and that is used for scanning the items. This barcode will actually show you the clearance price if it's on clearance. So now you're ready to go find your items and typically you won't find them in the clearance section. I found this in the regular section and it was actually marked at 584. And because I trust BrickSeek so much, I decided to scan it and it scanned at $1.54 just like BrickSeek said. So the app price when you scan something is a lot more accurate than the tag price. And what it is is people don't change the tags as they should when the system already has it marked in clearance. So I ended up picking up four of these. They scanned in the app at $1.54, but I actually paid $1.55 and I probably could have said something about that, but I'm not about that life. So one penny difference. So this towel was sitting in the clearance section. It was marked on clearance at $7, but I decided to scan it. And when I did scan it, it actually scanned out at $3, y'all. Exactly $3. And once again, my receipt did reflect the price that was scanned, not the tag price. This perfume 
is $5 on clearance, but when you scan it, it is actually $4. These are were in the clearance section and they actually did not have a tag on them whatsoever, but they were back there. So I did decide to scan them and they scanned out at a dollar. Moral of this story is, when in doubt, just scan it, sis. I'm gonna take the story a step further. Very nice sweater. And it was in the clearance section, but as you can see, there is no clearance sticker on it. So it was on like the $9 shelf, I think. But when scanned, scanned at $5. So this particular shirt was in the clearance section. It's a nice shirt, maybe a good Christmas gift for somebody, who knows, maybe you could donate it. But anyways, it was marked at $7 on clearance, but can you guess how much I actually paid for it? It scanned out at a dollar. Literally, it said $7 and it scanned at a dollar and I only paid a dollar for it. So whether or not you were just curious as to how hidden clearance items were found or if you just wanted to know the research behind it or even if you wanted to give it a try yourself, I hope this video gave you all the information that you were looking for. If so, please give it a like. Don't forget to comment if you have questions. I do answer my comments back and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time y'all, Bye bye